Good day, everybody. Welcome to Cooking in the Meth End of Town with me, Chef Dirty Pat Walsh, showing you how to make all kinds of prison and food bank and dollar store classics. So today we're going to make, um, uh, okay, like I've said, sometimes when you go to the food bank, uh, what they do is they take uh, larger packages of things and portion them into smaller packages of things. So when a single guy like me goes in, uh, they don't give me a huge bag or something. They give me a little bag that a couple servings would have. I'll show you an example. Like French fries. I got some French fries the other day. And that's how many I got in the bag. So that's cool. Um... But I got some uh, chicken tenders, these little, or whatever you call them, chicken nuggets, these things. So I don't really like chicken nuggets that much, so I'm going to try to make, I'm going to try to make some uh, honey mustard chicken. I'm going to do it totally no frill style in the microwave uh, with boiling water and no oven involved in this. Because this is my concept here, trying to show you how to do stuff without stuff. So. Uh, another thing I've always mentioned, too, is you never get fresh produce at the food banks. And it's summertime, so I guess there's a little bit more of that. So I got some green beans, and I'm using a couple of them in this recipe, but I'm saving the majority of them for the next recipe I'm going to show you. It's kind of complicated, and I just got to wait until I want to make it. So on top of all that... Uh, I'm going to be showing you, okay, like when I used to work in restaurants and something called for a, a veal stock, okay, um, now you don't often use veal these days, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's a horrible, I, I wouldn't eat veal, baby cow, no, thanks, you know, I think it's horrible, um, so, Anyhow, the way, often the ways uh, sh chefs and restaurants will imitate veal stock is by mixing uh, beef stock and chicken stock together. And this is something I learned and practiced uh, from time to time. So in, in meth end of town tradition, we are going to take a pack of chicken ramen and a pack of beef ramen and see if we can make veal ramen to go with our... Uh, honey mustard chicken nuggets and green beans so yeah all I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna cut kind of cut these nuggets up I'm using my my chef knife here cut them up in the quarters they were frozen but I thought them out oh yeah sorry first thing I want to do is get these noodles going So, I'm not going to use both of these packs of noodles, I'm just going to use one. I'm not going to, I'm not going to crush them up this time, usually I'd crush them up, but I'm not going to this time. Um, but I am going to open both of these packs of noodles to attain the chicken powder. Beef ramen pack, chicken ramen pack, the difference being... Uh, the, the chicken one says seasoning on it, and the beef one says nothing. So, I'm going to try to uh, put in half of this packet of beef ramen powder, and half of the packet of chicken ramen powder. Alright. And we're just going to cover that up a while and let it do what ramen does. Okay, so. While that's doing its thing, I'm going to cut up these, uh, chicken nuggets, like I said. I've made a, a sauce uh, using 
some mustard I got from the dollar store. And uh, my roommate Amanda was kind enough the other day to say I could use some of her honey. So I used a teaspoon of honey. So not really much of anything. Just a teaspoon of mustard and a teaspoon of honey. So I'm going to cut up these chicken nuggets, put them in a microwave safe container. Now, you know, this is a recipe you could use an oven for. It would probably be better if you used it, an oven for it. I'm just going to pour this. This is what the sauce looks like, so you know. Just a standard honey mustard sauce. And I'm going to pour that over the noodles. Or the, the chicken, I'm sorry. I'll just let that marinate for a second. Uh, while that's doing that, I'm going to cut up these green beans into pieces. And I'm just going to throw them in the ramen water. Kind of blanch them, you know. All right. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to microwave this chicken. Let's see how we do. Yeah, like you know, if you were to use a frying pan, it would obviously turn out better. You could caramelize it and make it crispy and stuff. You know, I don't know, I'm just, I'm a sucker for this minimalist kind of thing. Nice. You know, so I'm going to, oh yeah, one thing I wanted to do, if you've been watching the channel, the other day I pickled some mackerel. can of uh, Jack Mackerel from the food bank. And I didn't really know what to do with it. I had a lot of leftover pickle bread. So this is it. A piece of uh, mackerel. I don't know. It smells kind of like pickled fish. really good. I think that's a success. We're going to try it again in a couple days. This is something I kind of want to see how it gets. But right now, it's good. Okay. So we've got our honey mustard chicken here. And it's kind of steamy. You know what I might do though? I might microwave it just a bit more. To see if we can get it a bit tough, crispy, or whatever, however you want to say. Veal ramen here. Put it in the fridge. Now while that's all going, I'm going to taste this uh, seasoning, see if it worked. Huh. You know, it kind of did. See, I don't like using beef ramen very much because it's very strong. If you've ever drank beef bouillon or whatever, it's just very strong, salty. Chicken is, um, everybody knows what chicken soup tastes like. It's like that. Um, but the two of them mixed together, it really, like veal, veal stock, I've always found it's very mild. It's just a very mild uh, tasting uh, meat based stock. And uh, as far as ramen noodles go, 
I think this has kind of achieved the goal. So if you're ever, if you're ever wanting to make veal stock out of fucking ramen noodles, that's how you do it. Half a chicken packet, half a beef packet. I actually didn't think it would work, but it worked a lot better than I thought it would. So I'm gonna, everything seems to be done here. Plated up here, and uh, I don't know. I'm, it's lunchtime, and I think this is gonna be pretty good. Like I say, uh, it's all microwaved, so it's like whatever. But it's just showing you how to do something different with fucking chicken nuggets. You know, you can like anything. You can turn. You know, you don't have to use everything at face value. You can turn everything into an ingredient, basically, and make something better. So I'm gonna show you. What we got here is uh, some veal ramen noodles, which it's funny, I didn't think this would work, but it worked better than I thought. As far as ramen noodles go, uh, honey mustard uh, chicken, honey mustard chicken, uh, a few green beans, and I put I garnished it with a crushed dill pickle chips just to keep it in the style of the meth in town and, uh, and a pickle chip like a single pickle chip so yeah this is what we got you know what I mean I'm sure it's gonna be good it's, it smells great you know this is something often I'm when I'm cooking I'm thinking of like what my kids might eat you know because I don't know. Hmm. Diet beats the hell out of plain old chicken nuggets, man. Let's see how this veal ramen is. You know? I'm going to do that more often. That's crazy. I didn't think that would work. I thought I was kind of doing it as a joke. But it actually tastes really good. Mixing half a beef and half a chicken packet. Anyhow, um, that's exciting, I'm sure, to all of you. Uh, so if you watch this video, please hit the like button. And subscribe to my channel, Dirty Pat Wash Songs. And... Uh, Hope you all have a good day. Stay free. Be well.